The 1998 antifreeze poisoning death of 40-year-old Julie Jensen in the Pleasant Prairie home she shared with husband Mark took 10 years to go to trial. Mark Jensen spent weeks and months obsessing and thinking about how he was going to get rid of his wife. And after a seven-week trial... We, the jury, find the defendant, Mark D. Jensen, guilty of intentional homicide. But it was one exhibit in particular that gave the case national attention, the crux of the trial, a so-called voice from the grave letter his wife gave to a neighbor pointing the finger at her husband, Mark, if she were to die of suspicious circumstances. Mark's defense team argued the letter was unfair because they couldn't cross-examine Julie. And I think it's prejudicial to Mr. Jensen's fair trial rights. Now, seven years later, a federal appeals court agrees, writing, quote, the erroneous admission of Julie's letter had a substantial and injurious influence or effect in determining the jury's verdict. The decision means Jensen could soon go free. His father, Dan, told me today his son is ecstatic, going on to say, quote, my son has been in jail and he shouldn't be. One of the original jurors told 12 News in 2013 they still would have convicted Jensen even without his wife's letter. If he goes back to trial and they give the same evidence minus the letter and the jurors see the same thing that we did, he's going right back to jail. But Jensen's lawyer Craig Albee said then that without the letter, Jensen would have never been convicted. We've been hopeful. We know that this is the, the right decision. The, the letter never should have come into this trial. Do you think they get a conviction without the letter? No. No way. Well, prosecutors did present other evidence in the case, including Internet searches they say Jensen made as he plotted to poison Julie. They're researching including we websites on botulism, physician-assisted suicide, and antifreeze poisoning. Jensen remains behind bars in Waupon while the State Department of Justice decides whether to appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. Joyce. As for the timing, Nick, Julie Jensen died of antifreeze poisoning in 1998. Mark Jensen was not charged with killing his wife until 2002. The prosecution spent years fighting over whether Julie Jensen's letters could be allowed in court. Mark Jensen finally went on trial in 2008 and was convicted and sentenced to life in prison in his wife's death.